Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thanks so much for joining me today. I will be sharing a design project for Digital Collage Club. I will have all the links below to everything that I have used, uh, but I'll be making a super easy and fun project that you can send in the mail to Pen Pals, Happy Mail, really easy to make and you can just vary it however you want to. I will be showing you the process uh, closer to the end of the video, but first I'm going to show you some samples of what I've done. These um, again are so easy and fun to make and all you need is one page um, for the base and you know whatever papers, scrapbook papers, digital papers you have to decorate and embellish. You can make them your own and really have a really fun design to send out to friends. So. Let's get started. I'm going to show you first um, one of the ones I've made. Now I've made these before. They're also called zines, if you haven't heard of them. Um, basically, it's like a mini magazine, mini book, mini, um, um, you know, pocketbook kind of thing. Um, so I'm starting with this one and it was just so fun to put together because I just used again a lot of pieces from Digital Collage Club that I had already printed out and then added some additional pieces that I had as well. So you see here, I've got a little pocket with some ephemera pieces and all the digitals I have used here are from Digital Collage Club. Some pieces I have stamped, of course, use some scrapbook paper, um, some doilies and just the usual little fun pieces that um, I like to add to my um, to my mail and to my creations. Now, the ones I've made, I might be sending them out to friends. This is, um, you know, kind of sending back to some of you that have sent me mail in the past. I really appreciate it. And I know I've been a little slow in sending things back to you, but I'll be sending some of these um, as well as some additional little pieces. I love how, um, you know, these ones are coming out because, um, like I said, it's just uh, a different take on a little booklet. Now, this one, the only difference is the cover you'll see the inside is very similar and I'll show you why that is so similar in a moment. And that is why I love this project because depending on how you decorate your pages, you can, um, you know, make duplicates of them and send them out to friends. Um, and you can tweak them a little bit, but it's kind of like a one project and done. Now the back of this one, I wasn't too happy on how it came out the one on the left, but I'll probably be fixing it a little bit and now I'm showing you how easy it is and why it's so fun to make these little one page booklets. Um, what you need is really in a half by 11 sheet of paper and the difference here as you can see is the one on the left the pieces don't come out. The one on the right is my original design which I used to duplicate it. And the reason I like this project, as I said before, is because depending on what you add to each page, the same design will show up um, as often as you, um, you know, photocopy the pages as well. So the butterfly here, I love how it came out on the left and right. You know, the one on the right, you can move around. The one on the left is just a copy of it, but I think it's just beautiful. Um, I made another one as well, which I'm going to show you. Um, you know how I decorated that a little different but as you can see it's a one page project once you've done your design you've cut out your base you know page uh, you can do whatever you want with it so I just really think you guys are going to enjoy this for sure you can make it vintage you can make it retro you can make it any design you want so this one is the different design that I made with um, just different pockets and ephemera pieces to add to it. These are tickets um, from Digital Collage Club. Tina has some wonderful new um, kits in the shop as well as some ephemera. There's just so much to print out, you guys. And as I've said before with um, digital kits, I love them because you can print out as much as you want, as little as you want, and you're supporting a, uh, an artist um, and it's not just you know something you can pick up at Michael's so I think it's just a, a wonderful way to add to your um, scrapbooking pieces and your journal making etc so I'm just finishing flipping through this one and then let's get started and I'm going to show you how to make the base pages and then how to decorate one of them again super easy super fun 
So what you'll need is one sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11, which is your photocopy paper. At least it's that size that I'm trying to mention. This is a digital that I printed again from Digital Collage Club. You only need to print on one side because the white side, you won't really see it. And you can use scrapbook paper or whatever it is that you want. I'm showing you this for the eight and a half by 11 size, which is again, a photocopy sheet of paper, the size of it, right? So you fold it in half, make sure your lines are crisp when you're doing your fold. And then I fold it the opposite way again in half and make sure again, your folds are very nice and crisp, your lines. Now, when you know when you bend paper, it doesn't always line up when you've bent it a couple times. So you will see that with this project, but it's easily fixed. And again, because it's just a fun project to share with friends, you don't need to be too precise about it. This is just for you to have fun and do something super quick and easy that, um, you know, will get that creative juice flowing if you're kind of feeling your mojo has been missing for a bit. So as you can see here, I'm just folding the outside edges towards the center and making sure that the edge doesn't go too far from the center fold. And that again is just to make sure that when you're folding all your pieces together, that things don't get kind of stuck or caught within the paper project. So you've got eight little um, kind of subdivided pieces here that you can see. So you just fold it, make sure your all your folds are nice and crisp and you can fold it into your eight different sections, how I've shown you here. Now, the next step is the, the center cut that you will be doing so that you can actually make your folds and make it into the little booklet. So I'm showing you on the white side because it's easier to see and you can see I'm holding the paper um, with the, um, the center is what I'm cutting. So I've got the fold that I'm going to show you. This is the long side of the paper. I've cut it in the center how I showed you. And now it's just folding it and making sure the fold is nice and crisp so you can make your little booklet. So you fold it in half, you pull out the center pieces and then fold it into each other again. If you need to see it again, just rewind or pause, etc. It's just hard to explain and kind of try and make it very clear. So that's why I try to make it kind of slow when I was folding it. Now here's where I'm showing you where I have folded. This would be the cover of it. And you can see a little bit of the white of the page um, coming out. If you don't want to see that, then of course you can photocopy on both sides of your paper or, or print on both sides, I should say. And then that white line won't be seen, but I plan to distress it with some distress inks and then that will kind of, you know, go with the design that's already there. Okay, so now let's decorate and then I'll show you um, how you go about kind of adding your pieces that you will be removing, pieces that will be permanent, etc. So for the cover, I have picked one of the gorgeous designs again, and I'll just be gluing all these pieces down and I'll come back and show you when it's done because I don't want to bore you with, you know, gluing paper on paper. So it's glued down and I've selected these two pieces to add to it, some cheesecloth and a little lace heart. I'll glue those down again and come back and show you how that looks when it's done. So those have been glued on. Now you see that's my cover here. And then I'll open it again and this part on the left is your back cover. So I'll just be adding one of those little circle sentiments that are also part of the shop. I really love these because they're so versatile. I did print these out on like a kind of like a beigey tone paper as you can see there. And I just like the contrast. The paper is a little bit thinner than the one I use for my base page as well. Um, and I'm going to be just distressing the edges. And again, you can do this to your entire page or you don't have to do it at all. It really is up to you. That's what's so fun about this project. And um, I will link below uh, also details for my favorite supplies, like the ones you see here. I know a lot of people ask me where I got these pieces, etc. sometimes. So I like to just keep a list in the description box below that you can check out some of my favorite supplies in my Amazon shop. So now I'm going to be kind of adding some of the pockets, etc., to it. I'll probably be sending some of these in some happy mail, uh, replying to some of you that have sent me mail in the past. Thank you so much. I know I've been a little slow. So some of these will be added to your little snail mail package. 
if you want to write to me i will leave my p.o box details below i'm always happy to receive mail from uh, those of you that enjoy my work and would like to send you know a little letter to say hello um, here i'm just showing you the butterflies that again are from one of the kits and i liked using that in one of the um the little booklets because i just thought it was a nice design as well here i'm just showing you it depends on how you glue your book together you can make pockets on the top of your little booklet i'm not showing you that here but you know that's also another option so now i'm just going to decorate the pages and then show you sort of the base finished pockets and tuck spots that i'll be doing for this project so i'll probably be adding, adding some pockets some little flip outs i just need to add a little glue to the back of this design here i hope you guys are enjoying this project i definitely have many more tutorials and create with me projects to share with you guys um, i have playlists as well which i will link below if you are interested in seeing some additional projects that i have made and as always i appreciate your support by leaving me a thumbs up by leaving me a comment below letting me know what you think of my videos and if you've enjoyed them as always if you make anything don't forget to tag me on instagram or my facebook i love to see you know your projects that have been inspired by something i've shared with you okay so here i just made a little flip up and a little pocket um, in the corner there and then i'll be adding another little piece um, to kind of tuck something underneath it i love using doilies in my projects it just gives it a different texture as well this side i think i'll be adding a little flip up flip down with a little pocket again i'll just be gluing that on just to show you guys how that came out and i just love um you know adding little bits and pieces to these booklets so i just showed you there that i added glue to three sides only so that i can have a little tuck spot in the top pocket there and then of course it flips open and you can add whatever you want inside the next part i'll be adding a little um place to tuck a little tag or something in the back again most of these pieces are from digital collage club and if not i've used some leftover scrapbook bits and pieces that i had around um, and it really is super easy to make because you don't need that many things to put one together um, and as well it's easy to kind of make copies of them um, and i'll show you how that is in a second um, the reason you can make copies of it is once you open it all up and it's nice and flat um, you just run that through your photocopier and whatever you've added to your pages will become your copy just like I'm showing you here so this could be put right onto your photocopier it will print out exactly as is and um, if you've decorated each page then each page will be printed out exactly how you have decorated it I hope that makes sense okay so continuing with decorating uh, you see that I've added a couple little pieces to the front here sorry I had to film this on a different day and for some reason my my um, video that I had started didn't record properly but I will continue to decorate right now this is a piece I received in happy mail and I love using pieces like that because in this type of project if I photocopy it, I can, you know, use it over and over again. People can actually see the work as well. Um, I like these little um, pieces that are also in one of the digitals that have sentiments and stuff, because I think it's always nice to, um, you know, add those types of things to your projects, little quotes or favorite sayings, that sort of thing. You'll see also my desk is completely messy because I was working on it and, you know, just kind of started going and recording and I didn't want to miss the light that I had. Um, as well, you see my little box on the left with all the little words. I cut these out from either digitals or magazine pages or books, etc. And I love to keep them so that I can use them when I need them. Okay, so these two little pieces that I've added to this page, again, it just adds to the fact that when I print this out, um, if I want to duplicate this project, then you'll see all those little pieces, um, you know, that I've added. But if I'm sending out the original, the person will get to flip through all the little bits and pieces and see everything that I've added. As you can see on this one as well, I added the little hello um, as a kind of a closure to the little flip out pocket. I'll need to add a little tag or something in the back and then this little piece here also gets its own little tag or another embellishment that I can kind of come up with. 
So I liked this little piece I had from, I don't know what where I got it, an embellishment. So I thought I would add it here because the person that gets this could actually, you know, add things that they love on that page and sort of keep a little memory book, a little memory journal. Um, here again, you know, I can remove this piece or leave it before I make the copies. You still have a tuck spot here. So if the person is getting this one, they can still pull something out. Um, I still have the flip out as well. And of course the pocket or the little tuck spot, you know, in this spot, this ephemera piece also comes out and it is from another one of the uh, digital collage club kits. Um, you saw the hello. I added this little tag that says home on it. Again, it's from Digital Collage Club. And um, I might add something here, depending if I send this one or I keep that sort of as my sample one. And then additional little pieces, some repurposed uh, packaging. I think it all looks nice. I'll probably be adding some ribbon to it. I will definitely be signing, um, you know, this before I send it off so that it has, you know, the fact that I made it for the person that I'm sending it to. And I can't wait for, um, you know, to prepare the little snail mail package. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me prepare another snail mail, snail mail or pen pal package. Um, and I'll do that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made the photocopy of my original, which is what I wanted to show you. And you can see here my original and then how the photocopy comes out. Now, one thing you'll notice is it has borders all around the edges because when you photocopy, basically it gives you a border on your page. At least that's how my printer does it. But you can either keep it as it is and make all your folds how I've shown you before, or you can cut off all your edges and then make the folds again like I showed you before. Now, I like to cut my edges for my photocopies and I have to tell you my favorite cutter right now paper trimmer is this large one i've tried so many of the smaller versions and i find they don't end up lasting very long my lines don't cut out properly it's kind of wonky the um you know the little cutting blade keeps falling off but this is my favorite so far it is an investment but i'm telling you if you are a paper crafter you will end up loving that cutter because it really does its job properly Okay, so I've cut off the edges. Now I'm just making my folds how I was showing you before. Again, you know, it might come out a little wonky. I am not even sure how each of them comes out sometimes because it really depends on where the printer copies your original. It might have kind of some edges cut off a little bit like the front page looks like it's a little lopsided. Um, but again, because it's a fun handmade product and you're sending it out to friends, you know, it doesn't need to be that perfect. Like you can see the label at the bottom, it cut off some of the edges of the label, but again, I'm okay with that. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it's even given me an idea. You know, if I make projects like these that I send off, I don't really remember afterwards unless I look back on the video what I've done. So it'd be nice to keep like a photocopy of it so that I can refer to it back and say like, I sent this to so-and-so. So I think that's also another fun idea that you can use these. So you can see here, I'm just making my folds. I wanna make sure that I have my little eight um, divided pieces. And now I'm going to make that center cut so that I can start kind of making my little booklet um, like I showed you before, or the zine, depending on how you know it. So again, I've done my center cut. Now I'm folding it so that you can see it's got all the little um, paper that kind of folds together. That will be my front cover. This one is my back. And then all my pages are nicely sticking to it. Now again, I could even embellish this further before I send it off. I could add more lace, maybe some more, some ribbon. I, I don't know, you know, you can do whatever you want with that. Um, and again, you're going to see that the edge is not lined up because you've been folding the paper, as I mentioned before, when you make different fold and it's all one kind of piece that hasn't been um, cut apart, it's difficult to get the edges perfectly, but you can play around with that yourself. And now I'm flipping through it and you can see how nicely it's come out. It's the same little booklet like I showed you before. I hope you guys enjoyed the share. Thanks so much for joining me. Let me know if you make some. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Facebook and um, check out all my links and coupon codes in the description box below. 
and thank you so much for joining me leave me a thumbs up if you like this kind of video i will see you guys next time and thanks so much for stopping by